The fact is that fuel prices have been on fire now for more than a year. In 2012, when Prime Minister Modi was then in the opposition, he said, massive hike in petrol prices is a prime example of the failure of Congress-led UPA. This will put a burden of hundreds of crores. Now the shoe is on the other foot. Will you concede it's easier to be in the opposition than in the government? You are not budging on your demand, uh, on, on your insistence that excise duties will not be cut. Prices continue to rise. It has very little increasingly to do with global prices, but to do with the government's intention to use fuel to boost revenues. Am I correct or not? No, I would not agree that you're correct. Firstly, fuel prices in the recent past, I mean, over the last one year, have gone up from as low as $20 to $84. And currently, in the last run, from about $52 per barrel to $84. So therefore, fuel prices are rising. That's part one. Part two, it's easy to be in government also if you follow the UPA approach of the Congress, which is simply you mortgage the future by issuing oil bonds of 1,40,000 crores as they did between 2005 and 2010, and let a future generation pay the burden. It's not very complicated. You pick up a loan, somebody has to pay it. You pay it after 10 years, so after 10 years, somebody has to pay it. So that's, a one, that's one approach. It could have been done when UPA government was there to bite the bullet and say that we will link it to the market. So the Modi government has linked it to the market. That's the second part. So therefore, it's now, in a sense, uncontrolled, decontrolled. This It's not part of GST. Three, it's incorrect to also say that the central government is the beneficiary of the entire tax mm -hmm. because about some 31 or 41 percent of it goes to the state. States have their own VAT also because states also need revenue. So any Congress state or if a Congress party says that, you know, why is the price so high? Well, reduce your state tax if you feel you can manage without the money. At the central level, the funds are important. Let's not forget, we have gone through a pandemic. The economy has been stressed. It's showing some very good green shoots. With regard to it, 80 crore people have been getting under Prime Minister Modi's government ration. It's unprecedented. There's free vaccination for 135 crore people. That's unprecedented. It's being all born. Revenues have cut down because of the pandemic, but economic activity will come. But if you say there's a case to be built for subsidizing it, then it needs to be thought. Because should you subsidize fuel and remove and increase the subsidy burden where it should be? on issues related to agriculture, on the fertilizers and other things that require. So these are large questions, I, no easy answers, but the Modi government is willing to take those I will come one by one to all the points you made. I, I allowed so, you uninterrupted, sir. I allowed you to, under, but there are questions even on oil bonds, because the issue has been for the longest time used by you to justify what you're doing. But the fact is the oil bond burden is no longer of the nature that it requires such high taxes. You have claimed global oil prices as a reason, but the fact is even when global oil prices were relatively calm, you still continue to increase fuel prices. Where you are perhaps making a stronger point is the, is the fact that state governments too, through their taxes and their VAT system, have also increased their taxation to put the burden on the Ahmadbeen.